We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. We're starting off today this with the yellowtail. So you can talk or not. I'm gonna right, talk right. now. This is a beautiful, wonderful hamachi. I love that they serve this fish on crushed ice. Amazing. I'm not gonna let you eat yet because we still have to introduce the place. Today we are here with Chef Yost to experience a very hip spot. It's called Asiatico. Yes, it's in Aventura, Florida. Aventura, Florida. I'm really excited to be here for the first time. It is gorgeous inside. We came to party all night long. Let's sing along to Food is supposed to be what? Fun, always. Fun! The idea here is so visually fun here. It's loud, they have a killer bar, the drinks and the tiki cups are what it's for. Here we have a dish, looks like a tartar. Loving the chips, and it is a beautiful preset. Are you gonna nibs? It's Crack the egg, look at the quail egg. Eat. All right, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, that's a whip. That was beautiful. You killed the presentation, but it still tastes amazing. <laughs> the flavor of that is just fatty sea. Yeah. There's, there's texture, and that it's has different fun. texture. It's, it's like a, a pate almost, specific. right? It is a pate. It's milk in such a unique, specific way that is outstanding. Specifically, the temperature and the ice. This is magic here. While this is familiar to the kosher palate throughout, this is that crispy rice tuna thing, this is also familiar to the sushi palate throughout this country because it's an American sushi standout for sure. Beautiful. What did you call it before? What did you call it? Like a pate. A, a pate. A belly pate. The tuna was so smooth. It was so smooth. I can, I can eat a bowl of that tuna. It's melted tuna ice cream. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about that is the crunch, is, is the sweetness and the sugar that's born from the rice. This is called shabu shabu in real life. Show me what you're doing because you're the professional. This is a beautifully thinly sliced piece of raw beef. We're going to dip it in his sauce over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do a little bit of salt and pepper if we need. It's a hot rock. That, hot, that rock's like 600 degrees right now. We are doing fun eating. Are you doing fun eating? This is this is a lot of fun. You're going with a big group. This is lots of fun. I like eggplant. Eggplant and I don't Me get too. along, so I bring an eggplant eater. This is my Chef Yost, Chef Yost, uh, miso eggplant eater. This is supposed to be incredible. It's with crushed peanuts. I think they're honey peanuts. Yeah. That is really good. It's warm. I wasn't expecting that. You want to have a fun night in Miami, you come and you get that warm peanutty in your mouth. Absolutely. This looks like a Nagamakis. It's bacon, date. This is a classic old school, 100 year old bar snack. Done kind of Asian-y twist with the menu operating here. And it's beautiful and plating is beautiful. The bar here is standout. You sit at the bar, you get the snacks, you get the drinks. What defines a gyoza? Wrap something. It's a dumpling, but the dual texture. Gyoza's got a crispy and a steam. And just grab it and throw it in there. This has a lemony pop. And immediately you feel like that shouldn't belong, and it highlights it to a next level. We have a classic slider. I'm gonna eat these sliders, man. I'm because eat I'm an eater. You're an eater. I'm, I'm a talker. That's right, and I'm gonna eat a slider. The slider is oftentimes on the menu to keep that guy happy, you know? The, like my dad, my dad's always gonna get the burger or the slider. It's gotta be a certain kind of good to rep. This is a certain kind of good. The texture of the beef. It's perfect, it's cooked medium rare perfectly. Um, the, the sauce, the flavor, it's, you know, really, really nice. And the pretzel bun, I think, I like. Straight up, this is Josh. word for word Josh. That's a good burger. Rumaki. What we have here is something I'm very excited about because it is not sushi though. It's rolled in that fashion. It is sweet and sour chicken roll. It has a mandarin orange sauce. This is the original fit like ala la orange sauce. Yeah. With a beautiful like pre-work presentation. This took this took prep. So here we have this great interactive dish. It's supposed to be one of their highlight dishes. It's a Peking duck with a pancake um, and they have a bunch of uh, condiments or veggies here. To your core, you are a sandwich ninja. 
And this is just another kind of what? Sandwich. This is the best blintz I've ever had. Imagine like just a wonderful duck kind of crepe at like a nice Chevrolet Brothel first course. This would crush. We are looking at incredible presentation and we have a boneless short rib. And the smoke that we are smelling, it is like the smoke's in your face. Hey, that's hella fun. And you know, the smoke's always in our face for some reason. B, <laughs> B, the flavor of the charcoal that we're smelling is part of the flavor of the dish. So you're saying, oh, is it smoking here? But no, when you take a bite, you will be inhaling that flavor. You want the nuts for the crunch. You want the micro greens for the garnish and subtle flavors. There's salty, fatty, sour, so much going on. And the aroma of the grill is such an important flavor to what we're doing here tonight. I love food and we're here at Asiatico. Had an incredible experience. Every dish hit it out of the park. Everything tasted where it's supposed to taste. I loved it. I brought this guy along with me because he's a professional and I love watching my French acquaintances. Do I sit this close with all my acquaintances? That's true, usually judge on your lap. There are certain things that show off right away and I know you as a professional can highlight them. Things like the service, things like the way things are plated here are done nowhere else in the entire country. This is Asiatico. This is Asiatico, Aventura, Miami, Florida. We out. Ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>